Hello everyone, uh, I'm back with another video. I decided to do a video on my recent haul from the uh, Comic Con in uh, St. Paul at the fairgrounds, the uh, Fall Con. And uh, I picked up a lot of cool stuff. I got another couple things in the mail that are grails. So I just uh, figured I'd put together a simple, nice simple video of uh, all the recent pickups I got. And um, you know, I'll probably do a review on most of them. A couple of them I, I probably won't just because they're pretty simple sets. But uh, the first three you see ahead of you, in front of you, is Iron Fist box set uh, with Danny Rand and Thunder and Iron Fist and Colleen Wing. Uh, that was just a comic shop pickup. Uh, you can usually pre-order four packs from your comic shop and they, they give you 20% off, possibly 30% off. Some places will do that, but... Uh, that guy came in like a week later or whatever, um, but uh, I'm sure I'll have a picture up quick. I kind of want to get Colleen Wing on in a picture, or else uh, you know maybe maybe Iron Fist uh, uh, training with the Thunder or something like that. And and I'll definitely review that one and talk about the TV show. And then to the right of that, you'll see Comic Book Man. This was actually uh, I was kind of on the fence about him, but picking up that set. Because uh, I really don't, there's not a lot for me to do with it, even though I love the show. Uh, you know, what am I going to do with those picture-wise? But I may just cannibalize them and use them for, um, uh, you know, civilian fodder, like normal. Um, but I do love the show. And I'll probably review that set, too. Uh, and then on the left, you'll see the Space Jockey with Captain Dallas and the Alien Eggs. Which, this set I don't think comes with Alien Eggs. It's kind of weird that they have that on there. But, um... I do have a shot planned out for that, and I'll definitely review that later. But uh, here's the first three things I picked up. Among all the other uh, reviews I've done, this guy came in from a friend. Uh, Joseph Vega from uh, New York picked it up for me. But uh, it's a Toys R Us exclusive. I'll definitely be reviewing that. I think I'm saving it for the movie, and I'll do a little bit of a movie review, my thoughts on the movie anyways, you know, when it comes out in a couple weeks. Another one is uh, with the Wolverine. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I'll do a uh, review of this one, but I didn't even grab it because, uh, I actually don't have it, but I didn't grab it because I wanted it. I grabbed it because I just want the Ninja uh, Undercover Viper. I'll, I'll keep her complete, but uh, out of every X-Men, pretty much every X-Men Marvel superhero movie, she might just be my fa least favorite character out of anything. So she holds the uh, record for least favorite character out of about 500. <laughs> but you gotta have those those ninjas, those black ninjas. They work great for a lot of stuff. And then this is only six bucks. Uh, uh, it's always nice to build more Shatari uh, army. Get more army builders. Um, because I think I only have like four of them. So there's that. And then this one, this is something I've wanted for a while. Um, but this is a Pirate Raiders. Uh, it's a pirate ship and it comes with a figure, but uh, Diamond Select uh, tried an original brand. Uh, they did get quite a few pirates out, but unfortunately not enough. There's some really cool stuff coming behind it. Uh, I guess I shouldn't complain because I didn't really support the line, but... Um, I've always wanted the pirate ship. Uh, I'll probably use it for um, some Pathfinder mate shots, and then definitely, without a doubt, I'm going to do some Nightcrawler uh, from the X Men fighting on a pirate ship. Pretty excited to do that. That'll probably be coming on my Instagram pretty soon. So then, another big thing I got, and I've wanted this forever, but this is. Um, Let's see here if I can adjust the camera a little bit better. There we go. This is uh, Mini Mate, or excuse me, this is Masterworks. Uh, with my with my Instagram name, you could see why I would uh, screw that up. But uh, the Masterworks books uh, are a collection of like the original 1960s runs of Fantastic Four and X Men. I have all the X Men ones up to like 120 or something. And I'm working my way through the Fantastic Four. I only have the first one, and this is uh, uh, Volume 3 
or no, excuse me, this is volume five, but uh, I was kind of on the fence about grabbing this, it was 40 bucks, but I really wanted the Coming of Galactus story. It's only three issues, so I wrestled with it for a while, finally decided, all right, I'm going to buy it, and because uh, I wanted it anyways, and it was 20% off. But after reading it, and I'm not, not to the Galactus stuff yet, but after reading it, uh, it's the Frightful Four, um, kind of story with uh, Medusa, that's classic, it was in the cartoons and stuff, I didn't realize that was in there, and then it's also the Inhumans origin story in there, which was a like a double bonus that that's in there, along with the Frightful Four when, when Medusa was with them, and on top of all that, last night I was reading, and you can see on the bottom it says annual number three, um, that is the wedding of Sue Richards and Reed Richards, Sue Storm and Reed Richards, uh, and that was kind of last night I just... Uh, turned the page and there it was. It was. I didn't even look look into it too much. So if you ever buy a Fantastic Four Masterworks, this is the one to buy. You get Galactus, then Human's Origin, uh, their wedding, and then the Frightful Four, original Frightful Four story, worth every single penny. And the biggest reason I wanted to get it was this next thing. Oh, and by the way, that uh, Masterworks, that's where I get my namesake from. The Mar uh, Mini Mate Masterworks comes from those books. as an honor to those books. But So here's the biggest thing I picked up. This is, without a doubt, one of my biggest uh, grails. And it is the Mini Mates Max statues. These are extremely old. They're almost right away at the beginning when Mini Mates came out. <laughs> But they are uh, Mini Mate statues. They made this one and they made uh, Sentinel. Unfortunately, they're not posable. The pose you see him in now is a pose that he comes in. And I will most likely review this just for the heck of it because I'm so excited about it. Uh, but I finally have this is my last expensive big grail is this Galactus. And you'll be seeing coming up uh, some a good run of pictures on my Instagram of uh, the Galactus storyline. I'll, I'll put, definitely be putting my own twist on it. Um, it won't be exactly like the comics. It definitely won't be exactly like the cartoon was. But um, I'm going to try to get all of his heralds that uh, were created uh, in Mini Mate form in it. I might use the Mini Galactus or yeah, the Mini Galactus for a shot. Uh, they didn't make a normal size Galactus. Um, I'm just going to do a, a review of them and set them up and stuff. And just kind of give you guys a, a look at him as a figure itself. But uh, it's nice to finally have him in the collection. Like I said, he's my last Marvel one that, that I really uh, wanted and feel I need in my collection. Um, absolutely amazing. I'm so happy to finally have him. So anyways, this is my... Uh, most recent Comic-Con haul and a few other things I've picked up along the way. Uh, this actually came from a guy named Eric Dukowski. He's from Canada. He goes by Minimite on Instagram. Uh, he's a longtime time Minimate collector. Uh, so it was very nice of him to, to help me out with this uh, much wanted grail. So anyways, that's my video of my little most recent haul. And... Uh, We'll get some more review videos up soon of some other stuff, and definitely check out my Instagram for uh, more of my work on there. That's always, almost almost always posing daily there, posting daily there. I'll post a link in the comments, and uh, anyways, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, and thank you for viewing.